for joining me. Today I'll be talking about one of the exciting new features of Silhouette Studio version 4.1, the ability to easily access glyphs. Some fonts come with extra characters like swashes, ornaments, or alternate characters that are not accessible with a keyboard stroke. There are also fonts made completely with symbols or dingbats, and it can be frustrating to locate the character you want. With the new glyph option in Silhouette Studio version 4.1, with the Designer Edition upgrade, you can access all the glyphs included in a font with ease. Let me show you how to use this feature. When you're in Silhouette Studio version 4.1, you'll go over to the right-hand column and click on the text panel. So open that up and go over to the second option at the top here. You'll see there's three options. And this is where you'll find all of your glyphs. So I have um, a font from fontbundles.net uh, downloaded and installed on my computer and now I can access it. It's called Hollyn, H-O-L-L-Y-N. So you can see each character as you hover over each spot. Um, here you'll see that they increase and magnify in size and then you can scroll down and you can see that there's a lot of different characters included with this font. Um, there's even some ligatures, so double letter combinations or um, special letter combinations that look better than using the um, regular typed letters. So then you can see some with swashes and different things. So let's give this a try. I'm going to go ahead and use my text tool on the left, and I'm going to type the word sweet. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it really well while I'm demonstrating this. So I'm going to enter the text mode here uh, by double clicking on it, and I'm going to highlight the S. And let's go find um, an S with a little extra swoosh to it here. So let's just scroll down until we get to the S section. And I can see that there's a few different options here. And since it's the beginning of the word, I think it would look cool to use one with a little swoosh at the beginning. Uh, I think that's really cute. So let's go over here to the T and do the same thing for that. Um, obviously, I'm not at the beginning of the word, so I probably wouldn't use that one. Uh, that one's really cool, though. Let's give that a try. So I'm just going to click on that, and it replaces the T with the extra swooshy cross on the T, which I really think is cute. So um, next thing you can do is let's go look. I think this font, Holland, actually has some uh, um, an ornament font as well. So let's click on that. So Holland Ornaments, and you can see here that um, you can see all the ornaments. And if you'd like to see those a little bit bigger, you can take this little section here and just um, scroll that up to the top to large. So now you can see these just a little bit better. And in this font, there's an arrow, and there's there it is. So let's go ahead and take that arrow, and I'm just going to double-click this, and we're going to go ahead and ungroup it so I can work with that arrow separately from the words. So just so you know, now that I've done that, these are separate pieces. They're no longer edit, editable as typography. So just be sure you're ready to do that. I'm just going to flip that arrow over and make it a little bit bigger. Maybe rotate it just a little bit more. And I think that we've got kind of a cute little word going on here. It'd be fun to put on a, a little girl's shirt or something like that. So I'm just going to take those and let's go ahead and right click them and weld them together. And we can go up and colorize it so we can see what it would look like done in like a pink color. And so that's kind of a fun way to get a cute typography look and um, use your glyphs and get the most out of this font. So I hope you have fun using this exciting new glyph feature in Silhouette Studio version 4.1, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.